my name is Gulshan. I am currently working as a software engineer training in IVY Comptech. About the company, uh, it's a one of the biggest tech providers into the gaming industry. And uh, basically, I come from a non-IT background. I am a civil engineering graduate and uh, having the one and a half years of experience into the same domain. So after joining the 10x Academy, I got an entire a complete roadmap how I'm going to switch from a non-IT to IT domain. And finally, I was able to land a good job in one of the product based companies. So, uh, as you know, as I've already told, that I come from an on IT background. So, when I uh, was uh, like, there was a one big question in my mind when I uh, decided to switch my uh, domain, that how I'm going to do it. Like, uh, like, what are the ways to approach this very tough? So, uh, after uh, joining Tenex Academy, I get an entire roadmap, entire view. Like entire uh, like a layout like how I'm gonna reach uh, this destination of mine like from uh, from switching from non IT to IT domain. So yes, uh, it was a great journey. I learned a lot. Uh, gone through the entire six month boot camp. After that, I fully managed to get a good job in one of the public based companies. So uh, basically, uh, uh, I came to know about NX through Instagram ad. And I got to know about it in 2020. Actually, at that time, I have participated in pre boot camp, and unfortunately, I was not able to uh, give the interview after the pre boot camp to become uh, to, to get shortlisted for the main boot camp. So uh, I can say that it was one of my biggest mistake at that time. Due to some reasons, I was not able to. Then later on, uh, in again 2021, I have again uh, gone through the entire uh, uh, like process of attending the pre boot camp, giving the test, and then the interview. So this is the process that how you will become a part of the main bootcamp and uh, why I have decided to become a, a member of 10x tribe. The main reason is this process of itself because there are lot other uh, companies as well uh, who are providing the same thing like, uh, like uh, te- uh, teaching you about all the coding things and getting you placed into the company. But uh, over here uh, uh, basically 10x academy is also judging whether the candidate is uh, best fit for this very bootcamp or not. That is why they have done the pre bootcamp part where they will, do, they will taught you a basic thing and based on that they will give you an assignment and they will judge you basically that uh, the program that 10x academy is having whether it is beneficial for candidate or not. So I think uh, that's one of the best point because over, over here they are actually uh, spending time as well as putting resources into those candidates as well who are currently not even the part of Basically, the entire process was smooth. Uh, there was the entire session dedicated to the uh, income sharing agreement so that people will not be having any confusion. Uh, they will, the instructor will inform you about each and every page, whatever is mentioned there, what are the terms and conditions, and each and every thing. And uh, the entire session basically was the crux to uh, uh, make a quick decision whether you want to get it folded. So uh, as I told you, I am coming from a non-IT uh, background. I uh, knew nothing about coding uh, because, uh, like, I, no, not even my uh, like entire four years or degree, I was not introduced to uh, programming at all. So it was uh, at very start, it was a little uh, tough for me. But yes, uh, proper guidance from all the mentors because it's not like a mentor will only uh, answer you during the those boot camp hours. Uh, like those times are flexible, entirely flexible. Whenever they get time, they will reply you back, even at 12 o'clock in the night, or even the morning at 10 or 9 o'clock, whatever. So uh, it was the, one of the best things which helped me out a lot. The entire curriculum it was designed, it was designed for both who are not who are from IT or non-IT background, so that they can also work and uh, uh, get. So. Uh, one-on-one mentor session is one of the best things and plus also there is a mock interview part as well. So in one-on-one mentor session, I'll rather say uh, like anybody can easily code by looking to the answers or they have even they have uh, basic knowledge, they can easily code it, right? But whatever mistake we are doing and uh, whatever uh, thing uh, like how to approach to a particular, how to approach a particular problem, basically generating every problem having a three to four way, right? So which is the best way? Right, and how should be your approach to a particular question? These things are get discussed over there in one on one mentor session. One more thing is that one on one mentor session is more of a like a like 20 to 30 minutes is more of a like a mock interview, right? So, over here, uh, what happened is uh, suppose to all the candidates who are giving an interview, 
right uh, even if you get selected in a company you won't be able to know what are your weak points and what are your uh, best points and where you have to work more right but in uh, in one on one session uh, you will be getting an entire clarity you will be getting insights from the uh, interviewer point of view as well like where are you lagging and where should where you should work more so i think uh, this is the best point in the entire boot camp i think everything was designed uh, designed like as per the requirement everything was tough and the, the best part i would rather say the one on one session and plus the mock interview they were really helpful plus also i will uh, add on one more thing that uh, the group discussion session which were introduced in the last two months of the boot camp where uh, there were a lot of people or like other peers as well and there will be one mentor and they will be discussing on a particular problem and how uh, there are different ways to approach it how to approach that problem plus modifying that problem into a new problem and then approach it. right so i think uh, that that's, that was the main a good point so uh, basically the entire process was smooth like uh, there was a dedicated placement cell which a uh, placement team which were helping us out like the entire uh, peers of mine as well like how uh, like how to apply to a particular a uh, position or uh, what should how should your resume will look like right how to basically create your uh, linkedin profile but to mention in the bio or about and how to basically uh, make your profile more interesting so that a uh, uh, recruiter can easily find you on the linkedin as well so uh, even there was some uh, lecture session entirely based on this thing which was very interesting and i loved it very much so yes the entire process was smooth and uh, the placement team helped us uh, the entire batch uh, they they did work dedicatedly for it and they helped us out in uh, into landing a very good job in our different department so uh, uh, to all the guys who are currently aspiring to become a software engineer or getting into a it domain so uh, being uh, being a non it or an, uh, like uh, don't into it industry it doesn't matter like the main thing that require is like your zeal like your hard work like how much uh, like if you made your mind like you are uh, you are about to join this industry right so all you require is the hard work because the rest part is done by tenex cat that's what i think because they are giving you a proper resources uh, they are telling you how to approach a thing they are providing you basically a exact road map how you should uh, become a software engineer and to get a good job in one of the product based company So yes, uh, the main thing is that uh, never lose hope because there will be some point where you will think that other peers are doing very well uh, from you uh, than you, right? Even uh, I faced the same thing during the bit of the boot camp or at the very start of the boot camp. But yes, slowly, slowly, uh, the, the entire boot camp is designed in such a way so that even a uh, guy who has uh, who know nothing about coding can get a, a, a good job. so uh, the entire journey was very great i come to know about a lot of things uh, uh, as i come from a non it domain i knew nothing about coding programming and what are the uh, like aspects of it industry or uh, like uh, what are the career grow uh, like career domain different domain are there like front end part back end part full stack domain also there right so uh, these were the things that were introduced to me and i'm very uh, thankful to danex academy for uh, giving me such an amazing opportunity uh and uh, the last thing was uh, there were a lot of time when i felt like uh, this not my cup of tea but yes vendors were there uh, those helped me out and uh, they have guided me very well the, the lecturers the in- uh, instructors were from one of the uh, good companies uh, they are one of the top peers in the company so yes uh, got a, a learn a lot uh, and still uh, this journey is uh, still uh, going on and i have to learn a lot into this industry but yes, it was a great journey